this is one of the marine railways we build here at R&J Machine. We have marine railways ranging in sizes from 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, 20,000, and 40,000 pound capacities. Basically, they'll carry boats ranging from sea dews up to about 40 foot cruisers and that as such. Uh, this particular one is a 6,000 pound model. Uh, all of them feature quick detach hinges, so there's no nuts or bolts to do up to, to attach your tracks. You just put two pen, pins in per 10 foot length. They all come with levelers, holders in them as such. So as you come down over, over the rock, as you can see, uh, you put a set of levelers in, then you go down to the next set, where you put another set of levelers in. The holders for that are all built in. All our levelers are totally adjustable. Uh, as you can see by the carriage up there as such, the guide posts, you can loosen them. They'll widen or narrow, depending upon the beam of your boat. Your bunks and that as such can be adjusted in or out, depending upon the hull for your boat. Uh, we're one of the few manufacturers run a twin I-beams construction on our carriage, so it gives you your hull more rigidity. There's grease bolts on each wheel. Uh, you just put your grease gun in the end of the axle instead of having to reach in underneath and pump it full of grease. Um, all of our track assemblies uh, have truss rods underneath them. With regards to tracks, we build our tracks in 10 foot lengths uh, and aluminum lengths. Aluminum lengths are available in 4,000 and 6,000 pound. They're very light. This is a 6,000 pound track, six and a half feet. You see two fingers, you can raise the track. So it makes it easier to get in and out in the summertime. 10 foot track uh, in a 6,000 pound weighs around about 130 pounds whereas opposed to aluminum where you're about 40 pounds. Uh, we have a series of winches for them. They run from one horsepower, uh, one and a half, two, three, and five horse. A lot of the people nowadays are going to remote control. Remote control on anything is, is great around the water. Uh, you drive your boat up, and basically as soon as you go through it, you tie up your ropes, you push, push the button that brings you forward to your boat, basically stabilized. You can either take it up into the boathouse or basically you can step out onto your dock and carry on. This is almost a typical setup which you might run into at a cottage, for instance. They got an armor stone front or a boathouse edge that comes out. We're dropping down two feet. This is where our levelers come into play. We have a set of 12, uh, 24 to 32 inch levelers, 12 to 18, and then your mini levelers. Uh, some of the people nowadays uh, with their boathouses and that stuff, we're cementing the nose cone, which is the first section of track and the second section of track into the floor of the boathouse. That works extremely well. It leaves you with a nice flush floor. Uh, all we do is we put styrofoam down each side, they pour the, pour the floor level, and then we chip the styrofoam out. Uh, your winches are attached to the front of the track on all our railways and the same as the cement in ones so you don't need to build a separate winch box for the tracks. It's all integrated right into the system. Like I said earlier, your levelers as such or guides such you just loosen these bolts and they will widen out or narrow in. Same with, with your bunks, you can loosen them or narrow them. Uh, the other thing we, we're doing a lot of now, uh, because people are getting older, is we have lift up tracks. Uh, if your boathouse sits 10 feet back from the shore, uh, we have a gantry attachment which goes on your tracks, and we can lift up to 40 feet of track, much like a lift up dock. So it just makes life a whole lot easier when it comes fall in time to get the railway out of the water. A lot of people when they contact us about a railway, uh, they seem to think that they only need to go into 10 feet in the water or, tw or 20 feet maybe. With a railway, you've got to measure out from shore until you get into at least three feet of water and then add 10 feet from that length. Some people say, oh, I got 10 feet, uh, 10, uh, three feet of water right ashore. That's all the track I need. You've got to get that boat. The carriage goes to the back of the boat. So in other words, if you've got a 20 foot boat, Unless you and you're coming up over a two foot grade, you've got to get that boat in the end of the track back at least 30, usually 40 feet. Uh, because you can drop a track two feet and 10 uh, distance wise. So if you're sitting two feet above the water, you've got to have at least 10 feet of track till you at least hit the water. And then you go from there. So the 20 foot boat, you're going to need a very, very minimum of 30 feet of track, most likely 40 feet. If your water is very deep, then you can have a problem. We can put levelers underneath it uh, at that stage of the game. Then you want to go to a lift up track uh, and you can work up to about six, maybe seven feet of water. We have some, pe have some people come in the showroom where they built a new boathouse. Uh, they haven't consulted with us ahead of time. You go out and they've got 10 feet of water, 10 feet out from shore. You can't put a railway in. So if you're thinking about a railway, contact us before you build a boathouse and we'd be more than glad to help you. 
Another thing we do with a lot of the railway systems we build, nowadays uh, a lot of people are going to pontoon boats, so we have a special wide carriage. So basically your pontoons will sit in here as such. As you can see this carriage here is too narrow. Your pontoons usually are about eight foot to eight foot six to center center. So we get the length of the carriage out that we can put our bunks in there as such. Uh, the other thing uh, we're running into now, wakeboard boats, so you have to have a raised bunk so you don't clip the fins on the bottom of your wakeboard boat. And a lot of people are wanting to do double sea dues. So the double sea dues, we basically go to a pontoon boat bed, which is wide enough, and put two sea dues one side by side. Some people say, well, I want to put them in front of one another. You can do that, but the only problem is to get the front one out, you've got to get the back one out. And everybody has their own sea dues. They're used to better, so you're going to put them side by side.